Okay. I love the positivity in Toad's voice. Makes me excited for the day. Oh, I didn't turn on the thing. I oh, know it is on. Okay. I still can't whistle like the, w the way I want to. That's the best you're gonna get. There it is. My handy dandy rag. I almost forgot about it. The rag that receives all of my bodily fluids. Oh, I'm first, nice. For the first time ever on a board that's not really even a run. Lovely. Do I have voice mod on? I want to make sure I'm not echoing or like have some weird effect on right now. Okay, good. So I, I hated how I had voice mod on. There was an echo effect. It just ruined the audio for. I forget which stream it was, but it was a good stream. Three, two, one, go. Oh, I didn't take my vitamins today, damn it. You should take them before stream. Okay. Too good on a non-run and then on actual attempt, second place. It's just how it be. There's right good. That just changes it. This thing is almost user friendly, but then it's not sometimes. Uh, of course. Mm. 
Oh, that should be good. Makes sense to have chat and alerts right next to each other. fantastic start. I can just feel the positivity and the good vibrations in the air tonight. I can feel it. Something in the air tonight. Oh lord. I can feel it. Too good to be true. Oh, I'm, I'm pressing B, man. What are you doing? There we go. It's one of the worst mechanics in the game. B to cash the bomb and then A to throw it. It's my turn, right? Because that was Yoshi's... Yeah. Now I can take my vitamins. Son of a bitch. I, met, I somehow didn't manage to pour out two pills before that turn ended. Like Christ, I'm slow. Oh, this game is too fast.
If he picks two, okay, nice. I'm gonna lose a few seconds, but it's worth it just to win this one mini game. Where it doesn't matter if I win or not. Also, I just looked at my splits. I'm already two minutes behind. Son of a bitch, man. I thought a horror land was a was a bad board. No, Western Land has proven itself even worse. Not my favorite minigame of grab an ass. Need some chocolates on time to play this this game. And luckily, it's still solid. It wasn't crushed in my lunch bag. Man, it's a good thing it's the very start of the run. Okay, that's my B. I'm, I'm willing to admit that that's my B. It's, I'm man enough to, to do that. Worst one too. The great part about runs that start off this terribly is that if it does PB, it would be like the underdog story of the century. That's what, that's the only thing that's keeping me going on a run this terrible. Most people would have reset, but I'm not most people. All you need is that one good turn to flip the script from red to green, and then you've made history. This dude can teleport and he still got last place. How does that work? How do you suck with the major advantage? It's like a cheetah losing a race to a freaking snail. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> no. 
No, I'm not doing this. No. There, there's only so much I'll take of that, and I'm not, I'm not taking that. I'm not taking that like a bitch. Nope. One battle per turn? Yeah, sure, I'll take that. It's minor time loss. Manageable. Two. A, a battle back to back? No. No, I, I respect myself too much to do that. Still feeling a positivity in the air. It's good vibrations all around. Good. And cold water, especially like when you just woke up, haven't had anything. When you drink cold water, and that that sense of like coolness and refreshness hits your lungs. That's that good shit, man. Fucking double kill, man. That's probably the real life feeling of your mana increasing your MP either refilling or, or like increasing in a amount that's the closest real life feeling equivalent
I'm gonna save this for after the mini game. I have one last piece of chocolate. I'm gonna save it. I'm pretty sure this is following suit to the previous run. On the previous run, I lost a bunch of time on the third turn due to a battle. It's actually, um, this is freaking Bill Murray's, uh, Grasshopper Day or gr Groundhog's Day. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know why that was Grasshopper Day. It doesn't make any sense. I'm, I'm, I truly am living the same run over and over again. If another battle happens, then I just don't know what to do. This is the best, most fun mini game when you have the hammer. And you're just like just smashing people all day long. Alright, that's a nice recovery. Let's keep it going in that direction. Yes. Yeah, I'm not going to enjoy my chocolate. Also, I can't wait to clean up my desk when I end stream, because <laughs> just from the start of today, my desk is turning into the stereotypical speedrunner desk. So I can't wait to clean it. Also, I just feel good when I clean stuff, when I organize all my, all my shiz.
Oh no, an ad's about to start. Ah, shit, it's breaking. Fucker, why is it twisting me the opposite direction? Yeah, just throw physics out the window. Screw it. Like, how, did, how does Yoshi hit me right and I turn left? Or, like, he hits me right and I turn right. stand. So close, motherfucker. You're so close. I'm gonna clean my desk early, just like throw away some stuff that I can. Oh my god, Mario, you're killing me, man. I 
Okay, nice. Wow, that is amazing. Waste my time and you take my money. This will be the IRS. I probably should have said my ex-wife in that as the as the punchline, but an IRS just made more sense. I definitely hate the IRS more than I hate my ex-wife. man No hooting nannies today, unfortunately. That's why they call me the three bag mad lad. Because I got three bags. And the celebratory suicide. A very fitting end. For the three bag mad lad. I went to bed, I'm barely one minute behind now. I'll probably save a little bit of time. <laughs> why do you, why? Why do you make it start hooting, Annie? This is not the time to be partying. And yes, I just realized the immediate irony of what I just said. Got three golden mushrooms. So close. I still blew my competition out of the water, so it's alright. Mm 
I killed myself trying to kill the other two, and they still lived. <laughs> I am the worst murderer ever. Yeah, I'm still behind, of course. For 999 coins is the maximum. Because I've, I've seen the coin counter go to triple digits, but I think the highest I've ever seen is probably like 200, maybe 300 coins. I wonder if you get 999, we'll just like stop right there for, for coins. I kind of want to find out. <laughs> that was just sad. Although I just have a lot of time getting killing myself. That was just wow. I'm supposed to be a professional Mario Party 2 speedrunner? Like really? What's up, MQ? This is indeed epic. It's been officially ranked by IMDB, and all the critics say that my stream is epic. 
Hope you're having a great day today. Hope all is well and fantastic and spectacular. This should... Oh yeah, okay. I'm finally saving time now. Nice. It's strange how all of a sudden when you come into the stream... MNQ, I start saving time on my runs. It's as if you're my good luck charm. Should be a short day at work, so it's going to be good. Nice. Oh yeah, today's a short stream I've got to mention. And of course, Yoshi fucks me there. Thank you for reminding me on that one, MNQ. Are you excited to play WoW on November 30th? I'm never playing World of Warcraft. Ever. But I am excited, yes. I knew that fucker was gonna steal back this star. Why didn't I steal it from like Mario? Are you asking me if I'm excited to play on November 30th because you're playing it on November 30th? You just like, and you're just for some reason like putting it onto me for some reason. Very much nice. Well then, I hope your excitement levels uh, meet expectation. Is there some like giant wow like f um like a game or like patch coming out or like update? Is that what you're excited? New server start? What does that imply a new server? Is like like a new map, a new region, new like items and stuff? I'm not sure how WoW really works because I'm surprised a game that old is still being played. So I have, I have no idea how WoW works. Everyone starts fresh. So does that mean like that doesn't mean like things get deleted, right? It just means like <laughs> I don't know what that means, man. I can't even from this I can't gleam what that means. It's just a new server. Okay. Well, nice. Hopefully this new server meets expectation. They're changing a lot about the original game. And that's always a risky move. Especially with the game that old. It's gonna fuck up a ton of shit and should be chaos. Yeah. There's especially a lot of the diehard older WoW players. I see older WoW players as if they're young WoW players. They're all old. But yeah, the more diehard WoW fans will probably be upset. And DK, you suck. That should be pretty short. But I mean, that immediately sounds like a lot of fun. Some people think they went overboard with changes, but mostly I think people are just excited for anything new. I mean, yeah, again, because a game that old, you gotta keep it fresh with new content, or otherwise people get bored and leave. WoW players are, are also insufferable, I imagine so, given their age and the game they play. That's, that's any game. That old, the fan base is most likely insufferable. But yeah, that's that's what I think Blizzard owns that game. They have to add new content, otherwise they get bored. Or the people who are like truly cynical and dead inside will just stick to that one game forever. But 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 for people who have like a brain in their heads, they want some new stuff.
Damn, that was good. I doubt Sims pro players are that angry and jaded. Are there are there professional people who are there are there people who play The Sims professionally? How do you even do that? It's literally just a game about life. The thing you should be just like living already. How do you play Sims? Are there actual people who do that? Sims esports? How are there Sims esports? What? Isn't that just sports? Because it's it's a game about real life. So the real life sports in those Sims games. How the fuck do you do that? Uh, of course, lost some time. Would have been the red. Could have stayed green, but this can PB. We can be pioneers, I guess. So it's just it sounds it just sounds nonsensical. Sims esports. I mean, if it's a thing and people like it, then sure, why not? We can be heroes, me and you. Dude, DK has more coins. Why are you messing with me? Yeah, get fucked. I thought that was me. And this is why I don't play FPSs. This is exactly why I don't. Okay, Christ, that was somewhat good. Well, that's what's... That's what's yay sensical. <laughs> That's a nice term you just made up. Alright, nice looking good so far. I mean, technically every word is made up. That's what people do. But your made up word is truly nonsensical. Ah, oh, fuck. I need more coins and or still some stars. I'm surprised I've still gone this long without an item. To use an item or land on an item uh, space. Where am I? Ugh, I'm so close. I can just steal that star. Probably, probably be good. Please lose it on the first try. Come on, Yoshi. Yes. Good job, donkey. Still a star with the Yoshi. At least in terms of just buying one. Okay, 
guy's gonna get it. He just made enough coins. He can, he cannot have a more perfect amount of coins to buy another star. But at least I have two now. DK, I think he's in line to get the highest coin count. I get the minigame star, happening star. That's a toss up. So while, while this run is green, I can't guarantee my win. Oh, maybe Mario? No, he's not enough. Nope, he does. <laughs> Alright. Then he gets an item space. Okay, and no one's getting that star. Again, I'm amazed I've never used an item or landed on an item space. Amazing odds. I still have time for a minigame, still being the green. Should be good from here. <laughs> Alright, that's a lovely image. Thank you. Okay, yeah, I'm doing this now. I lost so much for being green. Mario done goofed. No one else is over there, I don't think. God damn it, man. I was just so close. I'm always just like brought brought there almost to the end and then just ruined. Just destroyed. They gave Bowser a gun, I know. This game truly does not care about morals or ethics. <sighs> Fuck yeah, I lost it. I think I lost the PB. Due to Mario's unbelievable mental illness. If the rest of these turns are clean, this might be something. This this could be like a single second PB, which I'll still take. A PB by a single second, if that's still a PB, and you can go fuck yourself if you don't if you think different. Something short. Something short, baby. Come on. It's kind of short. Okay, we're doing this now. Okay. Okay, I'll take that. Couple seconds, man. Come the fuck on. Alright, just keep it that way. I don't care. Give me a three second PB, baby. Don't give a fuck. Just can't. It just won't 
give it to me already. I could have taken like all of his coins. Why didn't I do that? I can still guarantee the win. I don't care anymore. Come on, Mario, just like do something, man. Yeah, there goes a the run. Oh, so close. Always so close. That's just a good thing I didn't take DK's coins now. Would have been done in vain. I wonder if I actually even won this board. Did I? It was a bit of a struggle. With the minigame scar star, DK got the coin star. The happening star is if I get it I still win. Oh nice, I did get it. Luckily this run didn't PB. <laughs> Some about two seconds difference on the last one. Next one will PB though. Yeah, maybe. God damn it. It just couldn't. It just wouldn't give it to me. Towards the end, it was starting to look good. I was like, I was like brought to the climax and then just like the climax of a story. And then the ending just disappointed entirely. Can't believe I choked that. And then I landed on DK, <laughs> on DK space on the last turn. That was gonna go into the playbook of like greatest chokes Dalda has ever done in Mario Party. And the, you know, add that one to the highlight reel. Yes, for you other any motherfucker landed a one, I would have been upset. Alright, but now I'm in a good position. Yeehaw, cowboy. Giddy up. And other similar terms. What are, some, what are some other terms like, um, howdy, howdy y'all, and, um, sarsaparilla, <laughs> or something, Saskatoon, whatever the word is.
Isn't Saskatoon like a region in Canada? Or <laughs> I'm thinking, um, what, what's the the drink? Like the you know the cowboy old timey drink in the saloon. That's Saskatoon, or Sasperla. Which which one is it? What in tarnation? But I think tardation is more appropriate. That is a more fitting phrase. Actually, I should probably use that one, because that's, that's a good one. It allows me to circumvent saying the R word. So I seem more, you know, family friendly and, uh... Appropriate. If I'm late, call me tardy. If it happens a second time, call me retardy. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. Luckily, I'm never late. Alright, if this run follows suit to the last two, I will be red on the third turn. Hopefully I'm not, of course. Eventually I'll just run through enough numbers to where all the bits will align and I'll finally get that good run. Despite the fact this is a long ass mini game. <laughs> This is a very, a very too friendly minigame. Oh, isn't that, um... That's that gay cowboy movie. Bro uh, Brokeback Mountain. D this, you know, the, sh the funny thing is that... I've only heard the name. Brokeback Mountain and like a few like screenshots here and there of the movie and I immediately immediately assumed It was a movie a movie about gay cowboys Like either from the particular screenshots I saw or clips 
I just assume, huh, maybe this is like a gay cowboy movie. And it turns out I was actually right. It is. It was it, it was my best case of like immediate like prediction knowing I've ever done. Don't judge a book by its cover unless I mean it just it just seemed obvious or at least it was strongly implying it was. But I was amazed how correct I was just from like a few screenshots. I was able to judge the whole movie. Also, broke back sounds a lot like that phrase about when you're having sex with someone, you know you break their back. I mean, it's a more modern term, but you know, it's same vein of like cowboys breaking each other's backs. Still lost time, damn. Fucking fat whore. Ah, uh, shit, man. First time I filled this in months. Nice. Fucking mid-air kill. <laughs> Give bonus points. That wasn't too bad. This mini game. I really don't like this mini game. It's, dude, throw the damn thing. At this, at that point, there is a matter. I've already lost a bunch of time. It's a nice one to add to the, you know, collection, but... P 
0.3 seconds. Nice. If that was the final split time, I'll, I'll take that as a PB. Which one should I have? I have Ritz. Okay, not the best turn, but it's all right. I'm sorry if that was loud. That was like right into the mic. You're just sucking down water. It's plastic crumbling right into the mic. I just did it again. Dude, is everyone buying stars? Christ. I really hope it's my turn to buy a star. is about to play in one minute for all of you non-subs
Yeah, I'm way behind on time. Oh, we're having a hootin' nanny. Nice. Yoshi Yoshi's hungover. <laughs> Actually, I'm still saving time, or I'm just not losing time. <laughs> Interesting. This is different. I can't wait to buy a star one day. One of these days, I can't wait. Maybe not the best song in this mini game, but it's a good one still. After work, catch you in a few hours. Ciao, Bella. I forget what Ciao, Bella means, but I'm assuming that's a term of affection. Alright, have a good day at work, man. I'm assuming you just didn't insult me. And two minutes behind. Nice.
It's amazing. Amazing. That better be chance time. Hot dog. It's chance time, baby. Nice. I so do miss chance time. Dowd, would you suck on the tits of MMQ44 and suck all the milk out of it for the answer to cure cancer? Thank for the one bit pattern. Dowd, would you suck on the tits of MMQ? And suck all the milk out if it for the answer to the cure for cancer. Yeah, sure, why not? Sounds like a great cause. Thanks for that one bit pattern. Hope you're having a great day today. Morning. These roots are sometimes difficult to chew. Pattern. Do you have a possible ETA or update on the package? Or packages, if I remember correctly. Any update at all? Change my mail. They keep this. They keep telling me that mail for Windows is changing to Outlook. Even though it looks a lot worse. Now I'm sticking to using just regular mail.
So far, this is not too bad of a run. If it's not green, it's at least slow in the time loss. Whatever. Whatever. If anything, Yoshi will die on the next round. Or the next cycle. Fucker. That's close enough. Draw. Ah, still green, baby. So far, pretty good. If this is a short mini game, that'd be nice. Just barely, damn it. <laughs> I'm green by zero seconds. I was so desperate just to stay green a little bit, man. Look at that massive time save of zero seconds. Steel Stars, he has a second one. They're getting very competitive with these stars now. At least in this run. They got back to back to back stars. Fucking... Just gives, gives a star to Mario. It's still not a single battle yet. Amazing. <laughs> that can have have been worsely timed. Holy hell. Someone please clip that. If anyone's here. <sighs> that was amazing. Oh, damn, a hundred? Nice. 
Hopefully I have some time saved, maybe. Actually, yeah, let me uh, bounce things out. Okay, yeah, it's it's all in the air as per usual. The last four, three turns. Fifteen seconds. Finish. I can make it. Just give me something, man. Give me something. Okay, it's good at least. At least no one else will keep buying stars. Hopefully just the one battle, man. Just give me that one. I'll, I'll accept one, one fucking, and then that's it. Shit. Oh, never mind. It only starts a battle if it's if it's the turn of the person who gets knocked out with someone else. Thank Christ. I'm still just barely gonna make it. Just barely again. <laughs> Give me something, please, man. Just something actionable. Yeah, he has zero coins anyway. He just had to get coins that one time. Just had to. <sighs> I don't know what's going on. Where is the time safe, man? Oh, 
I can pray for something short, but it's not gonna happen. And this this run died again at the very end. Son of a bitch. Whole ass minute because of one battle. If he hits four, okay. Out of all the numbers to hit. Okay. New run. That was a very nice throw, actually. I know the run before you land on the space, because I'm not going through all that nonsense. everyone hope you're all having a superb day what's up Tay Tay that's all right it's just that these runs are just not working with me I almost had a sneeze but it didn't I stifled it but it didn't come out what happened to the other game? What other game, dude? I played like four games of stream. You gotta be more specific. And you think I remember? You think too highly of me. Why do you think I save all my VODs? I don't remember shit. Please specify. Pulp and Cat 2D game. Oh, the fucking Final Fantasy. I'm not playing that shit. I stopped playing that on the stream. I didn't like the game. It was way too hardcore for what seemed like a simple like Mario Party type game. How do I keep being this game first? <laughs> Also, it was one of those rare times where, like, it's like even I wouldn't watch someone play that. I try to only play games I would watch a streamer play. I would not watch someone play that game. So that was it. One and done. It looked interesting, but from a broadcasting POV, it looked like a stoner's happy place. You would have to be... What's it 
called like of a non sober mind to enjoy that game. You can't you can't actually sit there and like calculate all the numbers to play the game best. You have to be high. Or just not sober. And unfortunately that's not my lifestyle, so I can't play that game. If I was more into RPGs and those like grindier number heavy games, I'd probably play it. But nope. I'm too focused on the actually enjoying streaming and trying to entertain part of things. <sighs> Fuck, I didn't count properly. Start to enjoy the stream entertain when the game when games like that drain the life out of you. Yeah. Also too much reading. It was way too dense. I can't I can stream it, just definitely can't entertain it. It, it. it got so bad that instead of playing the game I was doing just sound effects. I was messing with my soundboard. In order to like drum up something from the game. Cause it, the game wasn't giving me anything. So that's when you know the game is that bad. I have to resort to my soundboards. I have to do funny sounds to entertain. That's when you know, yeah, the game is bad. Now yeah, whatever. Top drugs tier list. The hardest drug I've ever done is an ibuprofen. So I'm not the authority on how to rank the drugs. But if you send me a list, I'll I'll do one. Just put them wherever. How about arugula? Oh, that's S tier, of course. I'm almost not having battles. I'm, I'm not having it right now. I'm not taking it like laying down like some pussy. I'm not taking battles, dude. Just not. Yeah, I didn't press start. Arugula is non-toxic, non-addictive non-psychoactive, it's the best drug ever. What's the difference between ibuprofen and neurofen? I've never heard, never heard of neurofen. Yeah, maybe it's like an Australian thing or brand. I don't think, I'm pretty sure ibuprofen is the name of the drug, not the brand. So maybe it's just marketed different in Australia as with like McDonald's, it's called Macca's in British land. That's probably why. Does Panadol exist? I don't think I've ever heard of Panadol. I'm not, a, again, I'm not a drug expert. I've done, I've taken vitamins and ibuprofen. <laughs> That's it. Luckily, I'm not like so ill that I didn't know like so many different types of drugs. I'm healthy enough to only know cough medicine, <laughs> cough drops. Maccas started in Australia, UK hijacked Maccas, of course they did. The UK hijacked everything for their culture. Fucking unoriginal bastards.
culture rappers? What do you mean culture rappers? It's just more reason to hate the UK. Even though I have plenty of reasons. Oh, rapers. They, you know, they rape culture, yeah. Steal, appropriate, rape. Whichever word you want to use. Yup. You put... <laughs> you, you know you spell the word rappers, right? <laughs> like... An MC on the mic. <laughs> so I was so confused by that. Yeah, it's, just, it's a one P. Two P's is the rapper, you know, an MC on the mic. One P is the rape, yeah. No, two P's is for the, the singer. <laughs> Happens to the best of us. Fucking control stick, man. I go down once, it goes down and up. How? Maybe it's like how fast I flick it makes it go up. I don't know why it does that. I ride the train to only get hit by the train. I got a train ran on me. This is this luckily it's just the start of the run. It doesn't dictate how it ends. Do you have an apple juice for your dad's? Did you have an apple juice for your dad's birthday celebration? What did you eat? We wouldn't have apple juice. No, we went to a uh, restaurant. It was a pretty cool restaurant too because like this, they just constantly served you meat. Like there's a small buffet area where you like have whatever sides you want. Like I had um, green beans, rice, some like potato sauce thing and like a bunch of other stuff and then the thing was that you got like a little card one side was green and one was red if you flipped it to green every like five minutes they'd bring you a new type of meat so like five minutes they bring filet mignon next five minutes bacon wrapped chicken next minute flank steak just constantly and then you have to flip it over to red if you want to tell them to stop bringing you meat it was, it was just so much meat. I had I had ribs. I had a pork loin, flank steak. I, I didn't have the bacon wrapped chicken because I already had too much meat at the time. But yeah, it, it was a really good restaurant. Bit of a, it was a bit of a classy joint. It was like a Brazilian restaurant. I think the name actually had Brazil in it. Or it might have been just like Brazil themed. I don't know, but... Yeah, it was a really good restaurant. Yeah, we just like talked, you know, caught up on things. Rekindled family connections. It was good. Good day. Yeah, it was, it was pretty good. Even better yet, that same day, I finally talked to Dimes. After like two weeks of not talking to him. Because he was dealing with like some family issues. But, uh, but I spoke to him and luckily he's doing alright. And hopefully he and I can plan something for like collapse dreams. Dalda, don't you hate it? Don't you hate it's easier to stay up all night instead of waking up early? Yeah, it is kind of painful. 
Not painful, but it's annoying. Especially with my lifestyle. That's why I normally prefer to stay up all night to do something than catch like a little bit of sleep and then just wake up early. Because like the demon in your head that convinces you to like stay in bed when you know you have to get up is so tempting. She's, she's a temptress telling you to just go back, put your head back on the pillow and just like nod off. It's a great battle to, f to fight her off. And of course, I have a lot planned to... Oh shit, Gold Split. To plan with Dimes whenever he's free again. It's only on the weekends, Dimes is free. Once you're up and you won the battle and your day has started, yeah. It feels good to win that battle. Yeah, you can definitely think of it as an achievement because most people don't make it out of bed. They still stay in there, so... You're beating out like 80% of people by just getting up. I also talked to my mom too. A lot of the last two days I've been about family and like reconnecting with people. Dad's birthday, talk to him, talk to my mom as well. Talk to Dimes for the first time in a while. He's doing okay. The last two days, the theme of those last two days has been, have been about human connections. It's kind of like Sesame Street where they had a letter of the day. The theme of the last two days have been about human connection. I remember waking up at 5 a.m. to go to the gym. Great way to start the day, but shit, it was hard. Yeah, it is, especially to make it a habit. Doing it once is like, yeah, you can do it, you, anyone can do it once, but doing it as a routine, now that's a challenge. Dude, I was also so close to talking to this one girl at my workplace. I was actually planning on asking her out on a date this weekend, but I bitched out majorly. I was so close to getting like the back to back to back like the, the quadruple fecta of human connections, family, friends, and then a date. But I missed that third one, so I'm two for three. A minus. I was this close to actually doing it. But I pussied out. I'll try again when I go back to work though. Yeah, I almost had the hat trick, almost. Just gotta man up and do it. You have nothing to lose other than her riding your steed. <laughs> That's a great way to put it, actually. Never heard it that way. Yeah, true. I don't want to steal anything. Oh yeah, I, I mean, I have another chance when I go back to work in two days. Yeah. And at that point, I'll nut up and finally do it. It was just, it would have been nice to do it that day because it would have fit the theme of, you know, human connection. I was, I was back to back winning with family and friends. Now, girlfriend. Almost, but... You know, I, I was already winning. I, you know, I had back-to-back wins. I didn't want to, you know, run out my luck. So I was just like, okay, just, you know, I, I would have some of my wins. I have a few W's. I'm going to leave it right there. Is she the only colleague you can tolerate? Yes, actually. Motherfucker. How did you know that? Just fell short. Yeah, but again, I already had a few wins. Just, it's okay. Just right there. Just, it's, it's good. What's your pickup line? I don't have a pickup line. I was just going to ask her, hey, um, planning on going to a cool place. I'd like to invite you to accompany me. By the way, it's a bowling alley. There's a, there's a new bowling alley in town I want to check out. Seems kind of nice. 
kind of premium. They're gonna say, hey, wanna invite you over to come to this new bowling joint. Because I can't tolerate your colleagues either. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. From what I hear, they make me sick, they do. And I'm sorry you have to deal with them. But yeah, no, I was just gonna ask her straight up, hey, I like yous, like an Italian. This is a new bowling joint. It's tradition for me. How about you and I bowling weekend? And of course she's gonna say yes, because like, you know, why not? Make me wet as well. Uh, there you go. I knew it was gonna work. Just gotta finally do it. Yeah, but, she, uh, but back to the other point, she is actually the only colleague that doesn't piss me off. That is legitimately one of the reasons why I'm asking her specifically. It's all about the tone, pitch, and swagger. I mean, I got both of those. Do you hear my voice and how like menacing and masculine it is? And the swagger, I haven't heard the word swagger since like 2018. But I definitely, I may have it. Thick and fast, yeah. <laughs> Fuck, why'd I go left? Bring it back? Should we, should we really bring back swagger? Is that like necessary? I'm, I'm pretty sure we can come up with a new term. So happy for you, bro. Maybe she can make a special guest appearance on stream. Maybe, but I'm considering it. Maybe. I don't know. First, I want to at least make sure I can get her to the bowling date, and then we can talk about stream appearance. Also, she's the only person who reciprocates kindness to me at work. Like, whenever I say hi to her, or like, hello, she actually like, waves back and smiles. The only person in my workplace who does that. She doesn't piss me off, and she reciprocates kindness. That to me is a special combination that not a lot of people have. Something like, yeah, she's the one. She's the chosen one. She's Neo. <laughs> I was on the Sam's turn. What the fuck? Kindness doesn't cost people anything. She's the one. I know she is. Wish we had more people like that. If only. No, on the eighth turn. F fuck. Okay, I, I fucked up my splits, but whatever. It's turn eight. This could still go well. I'm, I'm gonna let this run go and just see where it goes. Tee it up with her for Xmas or New Year's? What do you mean tee it up? Like golf? I do like golf, especially like those like mini golf courts. Not courts, but like mini golf course. But like those those new golf things were like it's a giant like where, like you stay in one place and you just like hit golf balls into a target. Those two variations I like them a lot. Like arrange something around that period, she'll know you're serious. Arrange what? I'm a bit out of the loop on like relationship uh, methodology, so you have to like 
refresh my memory. You can be rubbish together. I'm actually good at a golf. Like that uh, top golf place. I put bowling movies. Oh, okay. Oh, like arrange to do like multiple things in that day. I can do that. Yeah. Karaoke. Oh, dude, I'm nasty at karaoke. No, that's a pretty good idea. I'll consider it. I mean, I just bought a crap ton of movie DVDs for like the dollar bin. But it's, it's not like they're terrible movies, they're actually like classics. Like I got Scarface, I got Goodfellas, I got Darkman Trilogy. So if anything, I'll probably just have movie night with her at home. Since the movie theaters suck. The last good movie was like Oppenheimer. At least the one that I saw. The last good movie I saw was Oppenheimer. Most people are shit at karaoke, but it's fun and you can take the piss out of each other. That's a British phrase, right? That means like, um, like, uh, yanking your chain, busting your balls. That's what take, that's what taking the piss means, right? Haven't seen Oppenheimer? It's a good movie. I recommend it. Long, but it's a good movie. Especially, especially if you like long movies. There we go. I forgot to split on four splits, man. I'm just ruining everything. Yeah, like laugh at each other, playing around, not taking it seriously. Oh, okay, yeah. Like busting your balls, yanking your chain. Yeah. Turn 10, okay. Yeah, sounds like fun. That's a good idea, like to plan multiple things a day. I'll consider it. Thank you, Tay Tay. Ad is about to play in one minute. A Twitch sanctioned ad. <laughs> yeah. Why are we having ads? Is this new? Oh yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure if you've been here for the announcement, but yeah, I've enabled um, ads to play on stream every hour, I think it is. Every hour, three minutes of ads play. And then with that, I'm able to disable pre-roll ads, which are the ads that you see when you join a stream. So it's kind of like a, you know, the, the lesser of two evils things. Unfortunately, if you're not if you're not subscribed or you don't have ad blocker, you get ads on the stream. But at least, what are the benefits of it? No, that's the benefit. You don't get pre-roll ads, which are the things you see when you first join a stream. And that to me was the main benefit of it, or it's the it's the only benefit. Although Twitch says, although with this new ad schedule. It's part of their like new thing for affiliates where you get a 55% split on ad revenue. If you do the three three minute ad schedule like I have, it's a higher percentage of the ad revenue for the streamer. 
I'm honestly not doing it for the ad revenue because I don't make any ad revenue. I'm just doing it because when you first join the stream, you don't get pre-roll ads. Because everyone leaves a stream when they first get ads. I know I do. Oh, so good. Were the pre-ads only shown once? I don't know. Maybe it's like, um, fuck. Maybe it's like a, a cookies thing, like when Twitch tracks your cookies, it sh like shows which stream you've joined or watched in the day. And then if you haven't, then it gives you ads. Yeah, it's, it's three minutes of ads an hour per hour. But if you're subbed or have ad block, you shouldn't be seeing them. I can't remember if I even split right. Okay, luckily I did. It's also just my way to announce to any like lurkers, who are obviously non-subbed, that ads will show up. So it doesn't so it doesn't completely disrupt their their viewing uh, their viewing of the stream. <sighs> Jesus Christ! That was like a door on a old pirate ship opening. I, know, it's, I can't make the sound again. There it is. Safe.
Come on, Yoshi. Damn it. Yoshi is such a tryhard. Where's your friend been? Where's your friend been in the poster behind you? He's been at home. I, I just haven't talked to him in a while and he hasn't been on stream. He was dealing with um, a death in the family. Does he have his own stream? No, he doesn't stream. He has like, he has zero social media, which is one of the reasons why I like him. His mind isn't polluted with uh, internet autism. Yeah, he was in with the grandfather's death, so I, so I purposely didn't call him to give him, you know, time to, you know, grieve and process that. And only just yesterday did I call him to check up on him. Yeah, it's just not good. So yeah, the only, the only social media technically that he does have is Discord. But it's only because that's what he what he and I used to communicate. We, we don't even have like a server on Discord. It's just Discord DMs. Yeah, let him go through all his, you know, the emotional cycle. Call him when he recoups. Also, for future collaborative stuff with Dimes, he probably won't be here because the, because the drive he has to take from here and back is kind of long. And I don't want to like impart that responsibility onto him, so... Future stuff with Dimes will probably be just over Discord. But he'll still have like his cam. I'll like to turn on his Discord camera so you can still see his, you know, gorgeous face. Only if, only if a stream is like super like important or like it's a really big stream event I have planned, I will then ask him if he can drive down here. You know, drive all the way from Mongolia to Vatican City, of course. If it's, if it's like really that important of a stream. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, it's it's quite the long drive away, but you know. That's what best friends are for. Said. I wonder if I can actually recover almost three minutes of time loss. I'm I'm kinda curious just to see if it's possible. such a dumb item. <laughs> Alright, hold on, give me one second. I've been to Rome slash Vatican twice, and on both occasions I missed out of checking out the Sistine Chapel, it was I was so disappointed. Hey, dude, yeah, you have to check out the Sistine. That's like the main. That's the main attraction. It's one of the hot spots. 
Also, the thing is that the chapel is so big in terms of just height and how much to see is that they, they've installed a mirror. Like, uh, they, they, they put a mirror on the ground that's facing towards the ceiling so you don't, you know, like break your neck looking up at everything. You can just, like, look at the mirror and then see everything on the ceiling. That's how big the, the Sistine Chapel is. Then we went, we could only see it in a, see it on Sunday, but Sundays is a day of rest, they don't, they don't open it. Second time, there was some religious public holiday. <laughs> uh, that's just, okay, unlucky uh, timing. Okay, yeah, I'm resetting. Christ, almost three and a half minutes behind. Yeah, that's, that's just very unfortunate timing, Tay Tay. Dollar starts this morning. Some baby arugula and a nice cup of apple juice. Not in a fucking mug, exactly. Vatican was amazing, though. Incredible to see the rich history and the detail they put into the sculptures and paintings. Yeah, it's almost freaky, freaky detailed. Yeah, after that experience, I hope they all go to hell. <laughs> Maybe another time. Fuck Peach, fuck off. I purposely choose DK so I don't choose Peach. Oh yeah, Pattern, do you have a update on or ETA on the packages? Have you made any progress whatsoever? I'm not going to re-roll if I get like third place or second place, but it's just annoying at this point. Dealing with the death, but yes, it's still being held at the UPS shipping facility in Texas. Wait, what do you mean the death? You have to go to the shipping facility and sign for it. Okay, but I need the tracking numbers pattern. If you'd be so kind. Also, what do you mean the death? Like you got a death in the family? No need for a track numbers according to them. Okay, do you have some indication which facility it's in? Just go there with your ID. But I, I used a different name on this on the name that you on on the name that I told you to write. So shit. Also, my address isn't updated with my current address. <laughs> so, fuck. This one apparently in your area, it's a million square foot warehouse. Okay, I just have to check. I'll just check on it today when I end stream. I just, how the fuck am I supposed to pick it up? It's, it's a different name and I don't have the address on the, on my ID. There's probably some way I can do it. 
Tracking number is looking for shipping. It changes every time they ship it back out. Oh yeah, it does. Okay, well, I mean, well, given my new si new situation, it may help to have it since my name is different on my ID and I don't have the address, same address on my ID. Do I have something? Oh, you lost your grandpa? Damn, man. Sorry to hear about that. Same thing happened to Dimes, too. Lost his grandfather as well. Okay, well, may may rest in peace, man. Yeah, damn it, I don't have anything that has my address now on it. Fuck. Actually, no, wait, I have a piece of mail. I have a piece of mail with my name on it. That should be good. But just in case, pattern, just in case. If you can, send the tracking numbers. Please do. I'm not feeling too confident about my retrieval of the packages. Thanks, brother. It's my mom's dad. Didn't really spend much time with him in the last five years, but I do regret... I do regret it. I work way too much. I mean, if I'm right out here, you're driving all over the country. Fucking... That is the worst type of regret. Hopefully you're able to make your peace with that, man. Shit. Oh, nice. Not bad. Still saving time. A lot less, though. Thanks, brothers. Yeah, no problem, man. Must have plenty of good stories with their job, though, traveling. Oh, yeah, you're, you're always bound to have good stories. Like, just strange stories, at least. Yep.
Christ. A subsidy room. <clears throat> Hope you're having a great day today. How did I still lose time? It must have been that mini game. Sub Broheim. How's it hanging? I'd love to come to America one day, but all the stories and Reddit clips, I see it. I see it freaks me out a bit. Shootings, etc. Maybe it's just over exaggerated. I mean, it's only. It's only. Those are only the things that get, like, sensationalized and pushed out, since it's, like, big news. I mean, for the vast majority of America, it's pretty alright. From what I hear. I plan on visiting America one day too. It's pretty right from what I hear. I traveled a lot during um it's like several years ago I went I traveled around through Europe a lot. Just on like some business. That was really it. I think I mentioned this before, maybe on a different stream. Or maybe to a, a different audience. Yeah, but only really to a few European countries and then that was it. Yeah, it was kind of alright. It's definitely a culture shock, shock, seeing how things are so different. The highlights. Well, while I'm not, my, while it may not be the best part of the trip, a big moment was the the hot dog incident in Paris that I had, which I've definitely said that story before. I know I have because it's a. I made it a YouTube video about it. The hot dog incident and. and a lot of the sites, I was just seeing all like those, you know, old castles. Those giant open plains. Yeah, the hot dog. Europe attracts me due to the rich history. Australia is so young, it only has the British and Aboriginal influence. Yes, it's like the... Australia is like the weird, like, unorthodox step, like, stepbrother you have in the family. I just like the people in Paris absolute trash. Yeah, they are. The smoking is just terrible. Smoking is a personality trait in Paris, and it, I just don't get it. I just don't get it. You can either have bad smelling food or bad smelling people. You can't have both. But Paris thinks it's special because you can they, 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 they can do both. Australia is so far away from civilization. Like in terms of their development or like physically from like civilized society? I, I've never been so I don't know. I only know... I only know Australia from all the memes.
development, I feel like we are a forgotten country. I mean, maybe, yeah, you guys are just so out, oop, are just so out there doing your own stuff. You're literally disconnected from... Everyone else. I mean, why travel here? Harbor Bridge and the Opera House. They were built like 60 plus years ago. We have nothing much to offer. Well, the Outback is kind of interesting. You have so many weird, weird species and poisonous things in Australia. Like, you don't go there and like experience it, but you just like see the animals. You guys invented kangaroos, that's a plus. Yeah, they did. I mean, besides the Opera House, the Bridge, and the Outback. I don't know. Animals are cool, but compared to America and Europe, we have fuck all. I mean, yeah, comparatively speaking, yes. But if you spend, if you spend all day just comparing yourself to other people, you'll always be unhappy. All right, comparison is the thief of joy. Just gotta appreciate, you gotta appreciate your own shit. Deep inside Dolda still has nightmares of the mug people. <laughs> I don't at all. They sh they show up like super rarely. Incredibly rarely. Especially on my side because I've deleted all traces of the mug video that Apple Juice 24 hour TikTok. I've deleted all traces of it from my side at least, so I don't get I don't get the mug people bothering me. That's his most unhinged? I'm pretty sure he said some more crazy things. Oh, I mean, yeah, in that regard, Tete, -tay, you just, yeah, you're truly by yourself. I mean, you have New Zealand, and, um... I mean, that's really it, you have New Zealand. And Lord of the Rings was filmed there, so... Is it a mug or a cup? Well, a mug is a type of cup. Also, Tasmania, yeah, you got Tasmania. You got all those like small islands over there in the east. The thing was that I called it a glass, which is also another type of cup. But people were bothering me that it was technically a mug. And I told them that they can technically go fuck themselves. I'll show you has some big ass BBW there too. Can't forget the hot ass Aussie BBWs. Oh yeah, another sight to see. Australia truly has it all. Tay Tay is just undermining his own country's glory for some reason. He's secretly a politician. <laughs> I mean, it could be. I don't know what. I don't know what Tay Tay does. I don't know what. I don't know what any of my viewers do as jobs besides pattern and girth and face stuffer. Tay Tay, can I fuck you? Well, he's asking Tay Tay. I don't know why I'm saying that. That reminds me of that scene from Science of the Lambs with Buffalo Bill when he puts on the lipstick. Would you fuck me? I'd fuck me. 
I'd fuck me so hard. Because you secretly want to fuck him too? No, I don't. Your secret is good with us? That's, that's not a secret thing I want to do. Okay, you have... You don't know my secrets. They're all safe in my diary. I mean my journal. I haven't cleaned my shitter for a while. Yeah, why not? Yeah, that's... I'm, yeah, definitely no-go. No, thank you. I'm way too obsessed with making sure mine is clean through and through. Because, like, w like when I do go to the bathroom, I wipe. I use baby wipe. I, I use toilet paper. I use baby wipes. And then I take a shower for ultimate cleanliness. To make sure my asshole is of the utmost clean standard. I can't stand a dirty ass. I don't hate ass, I hate dirty asses. They see me rolling. <laughs> nice one. No, but mine's is most definitely clean and pristine. And I, I, I hold that fact proudly. I'd put that on my resume if I could. Or like in my Twitter bio. Just fight, whatever. Mines, whatever. Shut up. What are you, a fucking the grammar police? Nah, I definitely don't hate ass. Like, j just, just on yesterday's stream, or the, my last stream, on the, you know, the, the hottest woman tier list, I put Nicki Minaj high up there because of her butt. And yes, her butt may be fake, but I still put that ass to sleep. You feel me? I still would. Don't you hate it when you wipe your ass and you still have poop stains in your boxers? I've never had that because I go through a three-step cleaning process. You do sound like wounded, freaking that pompous ass, annoying bastard wounded, yeah, you do. I've never had that problem pattern, it must be a you thing. It's definitely not a Wii thing. Yeah, Brokeback Mountain. M and Q submitted that picture a while back ago. Also, I, I told M and Q, I didn't know Brokeback Mountain was initially a gay movie. I just assumed it was gay when I saw like a few screenshots of it. Or I think I was, I was at the time, I was, like, confusing it with that other cowboy movie with, um, Val Kilmer and, um, like, the, those other cowboys. That, that one movie. I don't know the name of the movie. But I just assumed Brokeback Mountain was a gay movie. And it turns out it was. It was about gay cowboys. I just say Batman. Although, would you gulp CD rims come down your throat for $10 billion, but you gotta pay 40% tax? No, I wouldn't. Oh, yeah, yeah, Val Kimmer played Batman, yeah. And he was in Top Gun. No, I wouldn't, Pattern. That sounds like a horrible deal. Alright, fuck the IRS. I hate them more than I hate my ex-wife. How about untaxed? Oh yeah, then most definitely I would. Why not?
I mean, that's that's ten billion dollars. That's a lot of money. Oh yeah, nice. Even if the video went viral? Who said anything about there being a video of it? He just said, doing the act. If there's a video of it, I don't want, no, I'm not doing it if there's a video, no. He said nothing about a video in the original question. Videos 30 billion untaxed. Is it known that it's me? Like, does the camera zoom into my face and it's like, oh yeah, famed speedrunner and streamer Adult Med, and then like, it shows like clearly my face? Yes, uh, then okay, I don't think so, no. Doll of the new Paris Hilton. I most definitely am not. I am so much more attractive. More attractive than Paris Hilton. But he can actually suck a dick. <laughs> Dude, even even if it's triple the amount, no, if, if there's a video of it, I don't want it. Oh yeah, this bitch stole my star, give it back. The downfall of Daldemet. It all started with a simple question. Yeah, but I can't do it even, even for 30 billion. No amount of money will make that video disappear. Nice. <laughs> yeah, I got thirty anyway. I thought I was like rolling for a second, just back to back coins and bags. I also chat. I got a new tie. Check it. I bought it, I think, like two days ago. Along with some new shoes. Looks kind of nice. Silk looks fire emoji. Uh, I don't know. No, polyester. 100% polyester. This label yarn is made out of 100% recycled polyester materials. I only bought this one. This, this is the first new tie I bought. 
in months. This is that this was like on discount or whatever, and the shoes also were pretty cheap, so I was like, okay, I'll just buy those. Polly wants a cracker. Good one. Polyester's man made silk. Oh, yeah, and yeah, this is a silk tie. I decided to, you know, treat myself. You know, I gotta, look, I gotta look my best on stream. You know, look best for my chat. You gotta show people what a professional streamer looks like. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you can't see the shoes, but they're like, yeah, dress shoes. They're one size too big. I'm a, I'm a, well, like, they're a half size. I'm, I'm a 13 and a half, and I got a 14. But I thought, you know, a half difference is gonna show us? Okay. I mean, you could also say, please, don't boss me around like that, Tay Tay. Oh, let me, uh, losing time right now. Perfect. Okay. Can you hear the shoes? There's some dress shoes. You know what they say about big feet? What? What do they say about big feet? Yeah, you're right, please. Sorry, Dada. It's alright, man. Nice looking schmick. Thank you, man. Big brain on your cock. I never heard that saying. Nice. No girth. I mean, he's definitely not in chat, but yeah. The shoes were, weren't kind of needed since, you know, I don't wear shoes on stream. Like, you never see them. But just like if I ever go out on an occasion, I need some, you know, good looking shoes. I got the shoes. Neat. Dalda, would you swallow and make a wish person's cum cause they're a big fan and don't have much time on earth? P.S. Can't wait for this question on your vlog. P.S. CD Rem is the guy from Make a Wish. P.S. S.S. Girth has a new account and talked to him yesterday. Um. Swallow a make a wish person's cum? Because they're a big fan. Ah, uh, sure, why not? Why not? Wait, you said, I can't wait for this question on your vlog. I don't have vlogs. What do you want about? If that's a request and they're a big fan, I guess, because they're at the dice soon anyway. You are the high standard professional all day. Even during Betty Bye Bye time. True, I do wear suits when I go to sleep. I'm still confused what pattern meant by vlog. I don't do vlogs. Hey, I'm not I'm not a YouTuber. But thank you for that one bit pattern. Dollar goes to funerals in a beater and a tie. <laughs> I I definitely don't, man. I think he means the VOD. I mean, that does make more sense than a vlog. I mean, you, you didn't have to wait for it. I was going to answer the question when he said it. 
dude, come on with the stealing. What's the difference between Vodafone and Vlog? I don't know what Vodafo Vodafone is. Why'd you type it again? <laughs> I, th I think I've heard of Vodafone. That sounds familiar, I just, I just don't know for certain what it is. But a vlog or a vlog is just a, essentially like a video diary. Oh, actually, you know what? Stealing back my star, bitch. Everyone just keeps stealing my stars. Oh, a Vodden vlog. Oh, uh, yeah. A, a vlog, vlog is a video log. It's like a log entry in a diary, but in video form. So you're just detailing the, the events or the happenings of the day in a video. A VOD, at least in the Twitch term, is a stored past broadcast of a stream. So instead of receiving the video feed live, you're simply watching essentially an extremely delayed YouTube video with a live chat on the side of it. But that's the live chat of when the VOD was a live stream. I've gone full retard with my typing. It happens to the best of us. Yeah, that's the difference. Dr. Seuss got competition. He really does even... How long has it been? Like... A hundred years after his death? Nice. Yeah! All right, I'm ahead by a minute and some change. So this this should be a good run. Ad is about to play in one minute for all of you non subs or non ad blockers. Oh, dude, please hurry this up, man. I'm just not making good time. This is why I don't pick Peach in Mario Party. She is a dumb bitch. them. <laughs> I mean, it's not women, it's just this one virtual woman. She's not even a woman, because that would be an insult to other women. She's just a female. Man, how did a minute, she, a whole ass minute ruined by this dumb broad. That's a term that you don't hear a lot about describing women, calling them broads.
I could have been ahead by a whole ass minute. Luckily, the time save is so minimal that just decent gameplay will bring this back to the green. Somewhat fast, man. Okay, a little bit faster, please. Come on. PHU suck. And now in the good way. Whoa. Ah, what are you doing, man? Eh, fuck. Okay. Okay, I think... Ah, uh, fuck it. I was so late to it because I was in a different browser. But I didn't win this. It's still way too late. Oh, wait, did I? Did I PB? My fucking A button. I actually did PB. Motherfucker. Disregarding that space star button bullshit I just did. Nice. Finally a PB. I'm trying to organize this damn dashboard, man. Nice. Nice from Peach, you dumb, selfish bitch. Exactly. Thanks for the GG's, Rem. Yeah, finally a PB. It felt, it felt like this was almost impossible. Every single run kept dying to the last three to four turns due to some nonsense. Absolute nonsense. And as a wise rapper once said, Bitch, miss me without nonsense. You broke, only got nine cents. I did PB, yes, finally. You witnessed it. By 6.8 seconds. 
let me put things over here. There we go. So it was the rapper, Cometazine. He was a rapper who was big like in 2016, 2017. Order McDonald's breakfast as a reward. I'm pretty sure my family's making breakfast right now, so I won't need to do that. But chat, smile. I'm gonna screenshot this and upload it to Twitter. So smile pretty in chat. <laughs> Even though this is like a my actual PB in terms of ultimate best is a 3942. This is like a seasonal best, like my reattempt at the category. Slowly reclimbing the Western land world record. And I'm going to app at Ape Duden just so. New seasonal PB slowly reclaiming the Western Land World Record. At Ape Duden, I'm coming for your ass. And yes, yes. I'll say, I'll say slowly working on. Wait, slowly. Working on reclaiming the Westland World Record. There we go. Not put come as in C O M I N G, but it's implied that it's C U M. And tweet it out. Booyah. Also, as a very strange coincidence, chat. With every the tradition of when I get a PB, right, is that I post it to Twitter, and also that I eat some cake. But for any of you longtime Daldemet. Viewers, Dolometers, check this out. I got coffee cake. Any of you longtime lads or ladettes, you know about me and coffee cake. We have a special bond together. A sexual bond. No, I'm just kidding. But this this used to be my favorite snack back in my old old place. Or no my yeah, my old place. I would eat these every single day and now I can finally have one to celebrate the PB nope. is it as good as it looks yes the one negative is that it there's a lot of crumbs. So much crumbs. Jesus. Chad, I have a notification on Twitter. Just one. How much you want to bet? It's a Twitter artist liking my go live tweet. How much you want to bet? Yeah, I'm going to need like a bowl or something. Oh yeah, I mean you just liked it, but I mean my my go life tweet. Wait, was that you? Oh yeah, that, okay, that was just a notification for that tweet. Okay, never mind. I have this thing, holds cups. Yeah, so there's already a few crumbs on my desk. Damn it. Trying to promote the business. Thank you, man. Excuse me. 
Dude, you, you ever sneeze so hard it, it it like it takes you a second to recuperate? You have to like sh you have to like st stay a while, and then like get yourself together again. It must be a stale coffee cake if it's been that long. No, I, I bought this yesterday. I'm just cutting the this coffee I mean, that coffee this cup holder thing that places have. It's hard to reach for the coffee cake, so I'm gonna cut off the handle. So I have like a cardboard bowl. It's called being in, uh, intuitive or whatever it's called. Yeah, DIY bowl. There we go. And now I got a bowl for my coffee cake. And it's also sustainable, yeah. Just as good as I remember. That coffee cake, man. Alright, let me uh, still fix this stuff. Okay, nice, there we go. Remember when you were trying to get the coffee cake sponsorship? Then you kept updating how many vegan? Yeah, I do remember that. Okay, so apparently there's some, there are some Dollar Limit Faithfuls in here. On my old TikTok account, I did a self-imposed challenge where every day I would eat like a box of coffee cakes and I would add Hostess, the company who makes them, to get a coffee cake Hostess sponsorship. I made it to like 50 something coffee cakes and then stopped because they just wouldn't answer back. There are people in the comment section of those TikToks like supporting me, thankfully, but Hostess themselves would not respond. So I was like, I'm not gonna do this thing for a company that doesn't care about its client, uh, its customers. I'm not, I have too much self-respect. Yeah, that was that, that was a good time. Good time. Bunch of savages, man. Unruly beasts of nature. Yeah, but if anything, I'll work towards. Bring it back. I can't bring it back because they're not going to respond. If Hostess didn't respond the first time, what makes you think they're, they're going to respond again? Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get a sponsorship from a company that actually cares and responds. You know, like like Little Debbie's. Little Debbie's. Did you get a cake belly? No. I metabolize food way too much that I don't. I hardly gain a pound. I think at one point in my life I ate like a. I had a giant breakfast casserole of like cheese, egg, and bacon and sausage. I eat like half of that. I think I lost like a pound <laughs> when I like reweighed myself. I just can't seem to gain weight. Dolly gets a sponsorship from the abortion clinic. I mean, I don't, <laughs> but it, it depends on like what they're offering me. I'm definitely not the size yet to like have like a moral conundrum if I was to get a sponsorship from an abortion clinic. I'm still too like young and you know go get them with the go get them attitude to like fight that. Mm. 
Oh yeah. Gotta go guys. Thanks for the stream, Delta. Have a great day. You too, man. See you, Tay Tay. Also, let me end the recording so I couldn't have it saved. Actually, it's not an actual PB because it's like an old one. But whatever. Enough with the me stuffing my fat face with shit. You know, I'll still save it. It's a seasonal PB, not like my actual one, but that's good. <laughs>